All right, we are looking at the official Norman campaign reveal trailer. It looks pretty sweet so far. Again, um, some weird battle dynamics, little mini groups going on here, but. Again, I will be critical of, look how poor quality that is. The units really, really look like cartoon impositions on actual detail background. History is the hard fought road from ambition to victory. Like stronghold. I will just say that is a really cool element of the trailer there, putting the outline of the characters in on the actual existing uh, structures from the historical events. It molds war. I know this is going to be a pet thief. Every video I do, I'm like, why is there towers outside of the walls? <laughs> like every time. But yeah, just a pet peeve of mine. Um, yeah, single keep in the middle. That's it's, this is looking very strong, but again, look at how shiny and cartoonish these units are. Warriors into kings. And heralds the rise of empires. She said the thing. <laughs> the year is 1066. Harold, king of the Anglo Saxons, rules England. But his crown has been promised to another contender, Duke William of Normandy. While Harold fends off Viking raiders in the north, Ah, uh, well, well, Viking Raiders. Um, that was a full-on Viking invasion. 10,000 plus Viking warriors defeated in an epic battle at Stamford Bridge. It's not just a simple raid, is it? And just for a little historical tidbit. He left some of those troops behind after the battle because he didn't quite trust the other barons, but if he'd brought them with him to Hastings, he possibly might have won. William crosses the English Channel, intent on seizing the throne. The two rivals It's over, Anakin. I have the high ground. But nope. He's gonna conspire to lose despite having the high ground. Would clash at the Battle of Hastings. But one battle does not win a war. And power, once grasped, can be easily lost. In the north. The peasantry rebels against a king they do not recognize. I'm going to say it again. Cartoon units, just they really need to sort that out because it's it's not good. Gameplay, everything else looks fine, but the units just so cartoonish. Northern barons ally with Viking invaders and seize the city. The city of York. The York, yeah. Really nice place. I wonder would he be able to build bridges in this? Because there's a bridge in the game there. I don't know if that's just a part of the campaign's uh, map. But yeah, all nice space that because it's meant to be. William must act quickly to secure his control. It is very like Stronghold in a lot of ways. And his descendants will. And for the record, that's not a bad thing. I fucking love Stronghold. Stronghold is a great game. Will fight over the crown for decades to come. In a bloody contest on both sides of the channel, Normandy is besieged. Civil war erupts. And would be kings wrestle for control of both. That is a beautiful camera pan of high cliffs and a walled city that looks fucking great both England and France the Norman conquest still echoes across the ages in stone and story and it's just one such tale in the age of empires right that is a beautiful campaign intro 
teaser. It reminds me of a lot of the Age of Empires 2 ones, except it's more interactive and it actually has um, real life pictures and videos, which it, which is cool. I, I am very confident that those campaigns are going to be long, immersive and pretty damn good. So yeah, um, I look forward to playing those campaigns. Let me know what you think in the comments below.